Well, here's the location. I just uh, came in through here. And we have this new addition slab here and the footing on the outside. This slab is meeting this footing here and the original floor, integral color. And there's a large elevation change here to that other floor. It would take a tremendous amount of floor leveling here to bring that down. So I'm going to suggest a combination of things. First, grinding to a better profile to begin with. Uh, the aggregate inside this slab is 90 to 130,000 PSI. It's going to take a long time to grind it, even with our very aggressive diamonds. So a combination of grind and then stitching this slab into the footing into the other floor because of a rigid material is going to come across here, tile, and you don't want these moving. So stitching is the method that's widely used. Also, this joint right here or this crack right here should be stitched as well. Anytime that you have a crack, that means movement. It's opening up. That can cause the crack to come up through the tile. So we would grind this as well and put a floor leveler down in this area to help with what we've ground down and bring this area up and then stitching is done underneath of it to secure this area. That's what I would recommend in this area. Here's the closet. The closet has a very similar situation going on. However, it's not quite as high of an elevation. It's close, but not quite as high. So we would definitely need to level this out with our grinding equipment. Put our stitches in, one foot off here, one foot off here, and then uh, one or two in here. So there'd be approximately four stitches across here with the grind and profile. Uh, once the stitches are in, uh, making sure that we have a nice smooth transition through here for your tile. This bedroom area, <clears throat> there's a joint that has been installed from that corner running this way through the floor. It is recommended to just lightly profile this and stitch it all the way across because if it moves again, it'll crack the tile. Going in here to the bathroom, this is a keyway joint, piece of metal, I believe maybe in there, not for sure. They could have used the same method. Grind profile and stitch, two stitches here, and stitch this hallway here. Then we get into uh, this that needs to be ground down. Remove this thin set, profile this area, grind this area down to a better profile so it has a nice transition, and put at least two stitches here as well. And if need be, we can put a floor leveler here in this area just to make the nice transition through. Going through the hallway, this joint here, also, profile and stitch. One foot off the corner, one foot off the corner, every three feet. Number four bar, half inch structural grout, two inch wide cut, two inches deep. This concludes my evaluation of your floor. If you have any information or questions, please contact me. My name is James Belleville. I'm the owner of Concrete Repairman LLC here in Phoenix. 602-418-2970 or you can always go to concreterepairman.com for more information. Thanks for watching and have a great day.